Jason, this is a this is a week that you know you wanted to start off with a win. You were able to do that on Wednesday. Then you come into a tough building, play a pretty good 65 plus minute game. Don't come away with the two points, but you do have three out of four so far in two games. Be interested to get your thoughts on on the way your team performed against a very good Prince George team over two games. Yeah, we played really well. I, I liked our effort tonight. Uh, you know, it's two two hockey game, and uh, you know we had you know more than enough chances to to win it again. And uh, you know, I thought our effort, our compete level was there against a like I said, a very good team. And you know, after coming off a tough week, we got three or four here. We got a chance to get two more tomorrow and uh, have a have a real good week. So. Um, you know, I told the players we can't dwell on this one, and uh, we didn't get the extra one, but uh, we did a lot of good things tonight, and we just got to carry that over in tomorrow, and we do that. And like I said, we'll you know we'll be happy with the week we had with the win tomorrow. Hockey's such a weird game. We've talked about the penalty kill before, and it hasn't always been positive. Things just hadn't gone well, whether it was you know positionally or just bad luck. Sometimes you go up against the team that's got a forty percent power play here in this building. And my math, if I'm right, which is maybe not true, but zero shots against, including a four-on-three in overtime, uh, tip of the, the cap to the PK tonight. That's impressive. Yeah, it was really was. Um, I thought they did a good job uh, throughout the game. And, um, you know, none more important than the overtime one. Uh, they got some guys that can really, you know, shoot it. And you know, they're way up there in the, in the scoring lead. So, you know, they, they definitely uh, got some threats there. And I thought our guys did just an outstanding job uh, all night. But specifically, that was, a, that was a big one for sure. And didn't feel like we really gave up, uh, you know, a great A off it. And a few scrambles there. But, uh, you know, like you said, it's a 40% power play right now. I thought we did a good job. You you get the goal early, and it was interesting. I'd be curious about your strategy on it. Again, with a smaller ice surface, you don't see a lot of low to high plays, most likely, because there's not a whole lot of room. Lots of work along the corner boards, and it directly led to your, your first goal. Was that an adjustment that you made, and what did you like about the way? Because they generated more than just that one opportunity off working the pucks from the red line and below. Yeah, no, we uh, we you know we had some time in practice there after the weekend, and just wanted to do a few things to create some some offense, and just not playing along the boards, just getting off the boards by uh, you know a stick length, just give yourself the opportunity for any cutbacks. It's harder for them to get pins, things like that. So, anytime you're on the boards, it's an advantage for the defensive player. So we you know we focused on some of those things. I thought we saw that, and like I said, we we had some good looks tonight, and. Uh, their goalie made some good saves, and um, it was a good hockey game. We just uh, didn't get the extra one in the skills uh, competition. You needed a big goal at a big time. You're down 2-1, to one and 3-on-2 uh, up the ice. And not necessarily how you drop the 3-on-2s. Usually there's a pass across, but Bus makes a great power move. That's a skilled play from a, a skilled player. That was a fantastic goal at a big time. Yeah, when he gets moving like that, he's, uh, he can really, really, really go. So, um, you know, good good play. We sucked him in the middle, and then, uh, you know, we're able to use our speed to the outside and took it to the net and, and made a good hard play on the goalie. You know, I think that was uh, good to see. You know, he, he made a – he got there and then uh, was able to finish with a good hard move. You were still able to roll pretty much four lines all night long. All four seemed to give you some really good minutes. Again, when you only take two power plays in, in regulation. Uh, again, what does that do for the group? Again, it's a long travel day tomorrow, but lots of guys got some minutes, but nobody seemed to get overextended. No, we should be fine. You know, it's uh, it's not an ideal situation, but, uh, you know, we we were able to use everybody tonight, and, uh, you know, we've set ourselves up for tomorrow and put ourselves in the best spot. So, um, you know, we'll be ready to go tomorrow. Thanks for the time. You bet. Head coach and general manager of the Vipers, that's Jason McKee joining us here in the Applewood Heating and Air Conditioning postgame show.